Welcome back, ladies, gents, non-binary friends. I'm annoyed. Can you tell that I'm annoyed? I uploaded my reaction video, which was literally almost 40 minutes long. And it took like five hours to upload. And just when I thought I was going to post it, bam, I got hit with a copyright claim type of business. Obviously reaction videos count as fair use. So I'm waiting for them to, I'm waiting for them to react or just um, re respond and tell me, okay, it's fine and release the copyright or not. I remember with Thailand, um, with Miss Universe Thailand, it took like an entire month to release that video. Uh, but I don't think this will be the case. The last time I reacted to Miss Universe, they also did a little copyright claiming, but they released that within a few hours of me disputing it. So hopefully this will be the same. So subscribe if you don't want to miss out on my reaction video. It's really, really good. Uh, I had such a good time watching the prelims last night. And I had so many thoughts, hence why I'm doing this video. I want to sit down and talk about the prelims last night in like a comprehensive way now that we've all had the opportunity to sleep on it to think about it let's talk about this so the prelims was late obviously they were like 35 minutes late which is really bad actually when it comes to television and the way that works i mean obviously they had some leeway since they were only streaming it on their own youtube channel or whatever but still that's that's not a good sign usually when it comes to how things are organized over there this isn't a good sign or it wasn't a good sign i don't know what happened if somebody knows please let me know because i would love to know what happened there why they were late but yeah, it just left a bad taste in my mouth. Other than that, oh my goodness, the stage is much better than I anticipated. It doesn't look, however, like there are lots of people permitted to be there. Obviously, with the worldwide bug, that's understandable. But the stage to me is kind of good, to be honest with you. Except the fact that a lot of contestants slipped and almost fell down. There were no full falls, but there were lots of almost falls, which gave me a bit of anxiety. Always thinking, what if my favorite falls down? What the hell is going on? I think it's, once again, I think it's a problem with this stage. Because it's not very likely that so many girls are going to trip and, you know, struggle to stay upright. I think it's definitely something with the stage being perhaps a bit too, um, glat. What's glat in English? Luckily, nobody fell in the end. And when it came to the introductions, I liked those outfits so much. I thought those outfits were so beautiful and I liked that. There were different types for the girls to choose from. I thought that was amazing. Now, when it came to the swimsuit competition, oh my gosh, I had, I have a handful of favorites who I want to highlight. First of all, Brazil. I thought that Brazil did a great job in her swimsuit competition. Lots of sass. Obviously, most of the girls who I thought did amazing in swimsuit are going to be from Latin American countries because they are the reigning queens of swimsuit. There's no disputing that. And on that topic, Colombia really set the bar. And I'm going to say she really set the bar in both swimsuit and evening gown. Colombia is just a goddess on earth. Oh my goodness, this woman is just incredible. Other than that, India really surprised me with her swimsuit competition walk. Like, she did a great job to be honest with you i wasn't expecting this from india but some of the girls i don't know how they got to miss universe because some of them are just so bland doing the bare minimum i mean it's not enough to be good once you're at miss universe everybody is good we need to be excellent we're looking for excellence and i definitely think that india brought that excellence Another contestant who nearly made me fall off my chair with her swim walk was Panama. Oh my gosh, Panama is 
so gorgeous and she just knows how to do a good swim walk by this time by the time we got to panama i was getting like a bit bored again because some of the girls like i said they literally just do the bare minimum but panama came in with the hips with the face with the attitude i absolutely loved it another contestant who i was sort of expecting to do well just because she is a professional runway model was paraguay and she definitely didn't disappoint with her swimsuit walk do i think she was as good as panama no but i thought she was good enough and better than all of the other contestants well not all of them but better than most of the other contestants enough in order to push her through another latin american country who really impressed me and who has been impressing me since the day she was crowned is puerto rico puerto rico gave a great performance i absolutely enjoyed her performance but for me to be honest the best in swimsuit by far was colombia and panama lastly the usa came through when it came to swimsuit i enjoyed every single aspect of her competition and oh my goodness let me just explain what i was looking for in swimsuit i was looking for one straight knees straight knees i was looking for risk taking so maybe doing something different with the cape or doing a full turn or just doing turns in general risk taking but with like palatable and good results and i was looking for good posture so standing upright i noticed that a lot of the girls did a lot of things right but then they were like hunched over while doing it and i was looking for facial changes so going from smiling to having like a little bit of attitude and just feeling yourself you know what i mean i was looking for that je ne sais quoi that not a lot of the girls displayed to be honest with you but i think that usa did a great job i can't believe that this woman was only crowned a few weeks ago oh my goodness she is already so incredible now when it came to the evening gown competition i think the music ruined it because they had this like i hope they don't claim that please don't claim that anyway they had that you know what i'm talking about you know the tune if you're an avid pageant fan then you know that tune they had that playing while evening gown was going on and to be honest it just ruined evening gown for me a bit because the girls couldn't do the like sensual evening gown type of walk that we expect but nonetheless there are a few girls who made it work and i was very impressed with them the first of which uh you probably know is colombia oh my goodness colombia just slayed that gown walk she set the bar for everybody and i hope that people actually rewatch these prelims and take some notes from colombia for when it comes to finals because colombia knows how to work a stage and not to mention colombia is a good speaker as well she also has a great personality she really is a strong contender for the crown so if i was the rest of the girls i would be so afraid of colombia the second one who blew me away was panama like i said before panama really knows how to work a stage and with gown it was no different i thought she was amazing i don't know there's something with her face i think it was her lip color it didn't suit her it made her look a bit like you know like one of those english girls like into the bee type of vibes i didn't quite like that i think she could work on that and just have like a red lip or just a colored lip because her lipstick wasn't working for me but her performance was immaculate and i thought she did amazing and the last contestant who really blew me away in gown was puerto rico i can see puerto rico panama and colombia in the crown already they are such amazing contestants puerto rico really just brought it when it came to her evening gown competition she had like the sensuality she had the face she had that aura about her that just screamed being in the moment and i absolutely love that about puerto rico let me know what you think about this year's preliminary competition what do you think is the reason why so many girls almost tripped and fell i was so nervous the entire time 
If you haven't already, please subscribe and follow me on Instagram. I post lots of fun and stuff over there and I would love to have you. Thank you so much for watching once again and I will see you in the next one.